Hi, I'm Sushma Venkatesh from Informatica Global Customer Support. The purpose of this video is to show how users can convert and use the 862 data quality plans in 9.x. The migration utility uh, works only for 9.01, so you need to move uh, the data quality plans from 8.62 to 9.01 first and then upgrade to any later versions. Prerequisites for uh, doing the migration is to have the migration utility, which can be done uh, by raising a shipping SR and request for the data quality migration utility, which is IDQ migration.zip. The migration utility comprises of two components. One is the client package and the server import. I'll go into the details of uh, how uh, to run them. And uh, the migration utility itself requires Java 1.6 or later to be installed. So you need to set Java home uh, on uh, the machine where you're trying to run uh, the client package or the server import. Following are the steps to do the migration. First, you will run the client package. The purpose of running the client package on the data quality um, client box is uh, to export all the data quality plans and uh, package it along with the dependent components like the connection objects and the dictionaries, dictionaries that the plans might use. The output of the client package is basically a wrap of all the data quality 862 plans. And then we do the server import, which technically unpacks the data quality 862 plans and does some internal conversion and makes it 901 um, mapping, which could be imported into a, into a 901 uh, model repository. And that's the last step that is importing the migrated mappings um, into 901 repository. Step one, running the client package. I would like to show here on what you will get when you do uh, uh, when you unzip the data quality migration utility. It's a zip file. When unzipped, will will give you these set of files. The client package .bat is the client component. Server import is the server side component. And importing the third step, which is importing the uh, the plans will be done via the developer uh, client tool. First, we will run the client package, which uh, without any um, switches. By default, it is not expected to provide any of these switches um, unless you want to change uh, the output location or you want to specifically uh, package only a few plans from uh, data quality 862. A recommendation from Informatica support is that you first clean up your 862 environment in the sense of uh, try to package only those plans that you might really use in 901 because in 901 there are many caveats like um, you need to redo the address validator uh, component uh, since 862 uses Melissa data and QA is an address doctor. However, when you come to nine, um, it is mandatory to use only address doctor. That is the only supported. So you will have to redo the uh, address validation component. Uh, hence, uh, it's best practice to clean up your 862 uh, uh, repository itself and bring in only the plants that you might need. Um, the output of the client package is uh, is can be found in um, the output uh, location. Uh, sorry, uh, it's in the package uh, folder. The output is two things. One is the migration package.zip and the package report.html. The HTML file itself is a summary of all the dictionaries and the, the plan information and the database connection information that have been um, bundled. Uh, and the migration package.zip contains the plans, the, the actual plans, and the used and the unused dictionaries. Um, so you, you need not unzip this. I have just done it here to show what uh, the file contains. So the output is technically the zip file and the HTML file. That finishes the client package, which is the first step. 
um, going to the server import component, uh, there are some prerequisites before uh, doing this. You need to create a blank project in a 901 repository and create a folder for all the reference tables that need to be imported. You also need to have the uh, accelerator files, the core accelerator files, which are free to be installed on a shared project. And the reason for this is that there could be plans that references to these files and you will have problems if the installation is not done prior to doing the uh, migration. Hence, it's required to do the content uh, installation first. And um, the last step uh, before we run the server import is to configure a file called migration properties. It's under the migration uh, uh, zip file. I would show the file to you under config. It is migration properties dot uh, migration dot properties. Uh, you can have most of the uh, properties uh, which are set to default. However, there are certain things that will be specific to your environment, like the server uh, username and password, which is what you use to connect to the uh, model repository service, and uh, also the EDR host and port number. That's again the Informatica 9.0 uh, host and port number. Depending on what kind of reference uh, data import you want to do, you will use either all uh, to set for both used and unused dictionaries, and um, or you, you can also choose not to import any dictionaries at all. Um, and the repository name, the model repository name, and the project and the directory or uh, the folder into which you want to import all the dictionaries. You also will give the analyst service name and the staging database connection because uh, we will be now importing all the dictionary files, which were uh, file based uh, dictionaries into the uh, reference data location, which is on, uh, the, on the database. This is the staging schema. Once we configure the migration properties, we are pretty much uh, done with the uh, configuration. Now we can run the server import component. And again, the default uh, is you don't need to use any of these switches unless you want to change the output directory or the zip file name, which is pretty much explained here in the document. Um, the output of the server import component is, um, is, uh, is here in the output uh, folder. Uh, it's basically a bunch of XML files that gets created, and they are by default named as migrated mappings.xml. A, bu a bunch of plans go into each of these XMLs. Um, so the first XML might contain 10 plans bundled in it, and so forth. So uh, I probably had 50 plans on my uh, repository, and hence we have five different XMLs with uh, each having 10 862 data quality plans, which are already converted and made 901 compatible. The last uh, step during our uh, migration would be uh, running uh, or importing these uh, migrated XML mappings into the 901 developer. Uh, you could just use the UI to do it, or you would do the InfraCMD object import export uh, import command and you will import the migrated mappings.xml uh, that I just showed. Some tips and tricks. The zip files generated during the migration process should not be edited. I just um, uh, showed you the location where uh, the zip files would be, uh, and I have unzipped it here just for the sake of demo, but uh, you should not be doing this. You should not touch the uh, .zip file that is packaged as part of the client package uh, process. Also, it is the best practice to clean up the data quality uh, plans that you want to use instead of just bringing everything that is part of 862. And it is also highly recommended that you review all the items on uh, the HTML that we have uh, as part of the client package output, that is the first step. Make sure all the dictionaries, all the plans, and all the connections that we have here are correct um, and they are listed.
encrypted correctly and if there are any warnings we would uh, want you to check them and uh, make sure uh, the warnings are taken care of um, importing the migrated mappings.xml should uh, have all your 862 plans into your 901 uh, compatible mappings and you can view them and run them in the developer